All right. Um, we are not going to dig into this, but there's a, a lot more in the IRA beyond solar, um, all related to energy and economic development. The first off is uh, USDA Rural Energy for America program or REAP grants. It's a pretty proven program. We've helped uh, many, many of our clients get the, this funding. It might be worth 25% of the project cost in the form of a grant. Um, the, the funding going into that program has increased significantly. So we expect that uh, the amount of awardees is going to increase as well as they try to push this money out the door. So that's uh, uh, businesses large and small, uh, but not too large can qualify and uh, organizations located in most of Ohio, most of Pennsylvania, most of Virginia can qualify. Uh, you just have to be located outside of one of the larger metropolitan service areas. Uh, so we can help you understand whether or not you qualify for that. There's changes to the tax code in terms of how you can carry this pro, uh, tax credit backwards or forwards. You can sell the credit uh, in a much simpler way. Uh, in the past, there's a lot of legal structuring with a partnership flip, et cetera. But now, uh, if you are developing projects and you can't use the tax credit yourself, you actually can sell it to a larger entity that has a larger tax appetite uh, in a simpler way. That, that right there is going to make power purchase agreements or third-party owned systems on the rooftops of schools and units of government, et cetera, uh, easier and more economic. So uh, it's a big, big change there. There are a host of programs focused on energy justice and trying to bring the benefits of solar and energy efficiency to low and moderate income populations. There's expansion of support for green bank initiatives, again, focused on bringing uh, solar to more and more people. Uh, there's focus on efficiency and electrification programs, EV deployment, and uh, a lot of incentives to onshore US manufacturing uh, to build up the supply chain for solar and batteries. Um, there's a legislation supporting geothermal and heat pumps. Um, and again, a block grant out there for environmental climate justice initiatives. 